good people of the world the good people of the world good people of the world what's going on ray of me otv ray of me otv hey listen i'm i'm working on something y'all i'm gonna bring it to social media i'm gonna bring it to social media it's gonna be a little bit different you know what i'm saying i think it's gonna work out pretty good you know what i'm saying when it when, when it drops but um i'm gonna give y'all one today man um Young people, as always, stay out of trouble. Listen to your parents. Make good decisions, man. Be the best student in your class. I promise you, man, it will pay off down the line. It'll pay off, all right? Um, if you've never been to prison, if you've never been to jail, don't go. If you have been, don't go back. You know what I mean? Um, let me get y'all one today, man. I'm going to talk about a time I was about. I probably was about maybe maybe 18, maybe 19, something like that. But I was in jail, right? I was in jail. Y'all know I served 16 years of my life incarcerated. So I was in jail, right? And um, man, back in those days, like I was 18, 19 years old. So I, I behaved like somebody else 18, 19 years old. Every now and then, I I guess I would get restless or something like that in the jail. And so um, I had a bad habit, and I wasn't the only one. And that wasn't like just my normal character, because usually I'm mellow, laid back, you know, cool, calm, and collected. But on this particular day, I felt like playing, you know what I'm saying? So um, I slept upstairs, the upper tier. And it probably, I don't remember how many rooms, man, in the, in the uh, dormitory, but the, um, it, it was two, two uh, levels, two levels, all right? The first floor and the second floor. So the police that came in there one day, you know, they come in, they walk around, they do their rounds or whatever. They walk around, check their stuff, they walk on back out. Or they come in and they deliver something to one of the inmates in there or something like that. And they walk on back out. Well, this particular day, I'm upstairs. I'm in my room. I hear the police that came in to the dorm. So I um, so I start harassing the police from my room. The door is open. I can see through the crack of the door. I can see through the crack like this. You know what I'm saying? And so I start yelling down to the police. It was a it was a white officer, probably in his, you know what I'm saying? He he probably was in his 50s, man. I give him probably mid-50s. And um, so I started yelling from my door. He can't really see me. You know what I'm saying? He might got a general idea of where the voice is coming from, where the sound is coming from. But he really could not tell completely, right? So I started yelling stuff like, get the blank out of here, copper. Man, get your punk ass up out of here. Y'all know I don't cuss. I don't cuss. You know what I'm saying? Ride with me, though. So back then, I did, though. You know what I'm saying? So back then, I'm 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 giving it to him. You know what I mean? So I'm telling him, man, get up out of here. You suck. Da, 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 da. Blah, 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 blah. And so I'm messing with him. So he downstairs. So I can see him through the crack, though. So finally, he get tired of me harassing him, right? And he turn around and he look up. Look up there, and um, he say, come on out and say it. Come on out. You know, like that. I say, F you, B, come up here and get me. Man, so when I say that, man, that joke will tear out toward them stairs. You know what I'm saying? So when he strike out toward them stairs, and he running up the stairs, by the time he get to the stairs, I done jump in the bed. I'm on the top bunk, too. I done jumped in the bed, got up under the cover. So by the time he coming, I know I got to be perfectly still. I got to play sleep. You know what I'm saying? The whole nine, right? So, and this is why you don't play in prison, man. You don't know, in jail. You don't you don't play like this because this is what happened, right? So he runs straight to my room, right? So I'm laying perfectly still. I got covers over my head and stuff. So he pulled the covers back like this. So he pulled the covers back. I act like I'm asleep. I'm like, 
You know what I'm saying? I like do something like that, man. Like my eyes squinting, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like yawning, like I've been in a deep sleep. So he apologized. He said, oh, I'm sorry. He walked on out, right? But my heart beating, you know what I'm saying? So he go to the next room and the next room over. So about two rooms down, he grab a dude up out of there, a black dude. This dude, though, he owed some big debts in the dorm. He owed some folks some money in the dorm. So this is where the kind of the dilemma come in at right here, right? So the police going now, he grabbed dude. So I guess dude, he figured this is his out. Because of the police take him on up out of here, he figured, man, he, he, he about to get up out of all this debt that he owed, right? So the police got him. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm raised up in my bed and I'm looking. The police got him in there. They getting his stuff. So they locking him up. They about to take him to the hole. And he ain't even the one that did it. I did it, right? So I'm looking as the dude walked by. You know, he looked like, he gave me a look like, like, boy, he finna get away with all this debt. So now you got three or four people standing over here because the dude used to play poker with us. You know what I'm saying? He was in the hole. So now you got three or four people over here, man, standing over here like, man, this dude finna walk out of here with our debt. So now they start looking at me. So dude done walked on out. You know what I'm saying? The police done took him on out, got his stuff or whatever. They take him. He going to the hole. You know what I mean? I don't know what they charged him with. They probably charged him with, I don't know, whatever. I, I forget what them old prison jailhouse charges is now, for real, for real, but some kind of um, mis insubordination or something. So now they looking at me, though. So one dude come to me. He said, hey, man, uh, he said, man, you know, dude, man, owed us, man, you know what I'm saying, a little money. So dude was like, I ain't even really worried about it, you know what I'm saying, for me. But, man, he folk want their money, man. You know what I'm saying? They feel like it's your fault. Now, I can fight now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't the dude that that's going to uh, be quick to fight. I ain't never quick to fight. But when it's time, it's time. You know what I'm saying? So look. So I say, man, ain't none of that in my debt. I ain't finna pay none of that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna pay none of that stuff, man. Ain't none of it mine. Right? So, you know. Dude, in, uh, another dude ended up coming talking to me. Like, man, that's messed up, man. Young blood, that's messed up, man. Hey, man, you know, dude owed us, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, dude, dude owed me. You know what I mean? This, you know, it's like, dude, they wasn't trying to press me to pay the debt. You know what I'm saying? Um, But at the same time, I it's almost like they were hoping that I would say, Man, I take care of it. Or man, I I um, you know what I'm saying, get somebody to put some money on your books or something like that. But that that wasn't gonna be the case, you know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, man, uh that's what happened though, man. Young people stay out of these folk jails, stay out of these folk prisons, man. It ain't worth it.